This week, people of America, we love our good American people. This week, I saw a movie, okay, because I wanted to celebrate, unlike the terrible treasonous Democrats, black unemployment is at an all-time low. It's never been lower. So I wanted to see some of these African Americans working, so I went to see Black Panther, okay? This is a new movie, and when you're president, they let you do it. They let you see movies early. It's pretty cool. Well, I saw this movie, Black Panther, and, you know, believe me, if there was a white panther, they'd be talking about, you know, I sympathize with uh, Nazis, but we're going to be okay with Black Panther, so we're doing it. So I see this movie, Black Panther. It stars Jackie Robinson. Okay, we love Jackie Robinson. By the way, not a lot of people know this. Jackie Robinson, a Republican, okay? Loved the Republican Party. So Jackie Robinson's in this movie. He's doing a lot of good things recently and getting more credit for it, which is good. Good to see Jackie up and about. He plays T'Challa. What a name. Okay, T'Challa. Who ever heard of somebody named T'Challa? And this guy is the Black Panther, okay? He's in this African country called Wakanda, which is where I think, you know, Barack Obama was from. It sounds very similar, if we're being totally honest. So he's running things in Wakanda, okay? There's like some arms races. There's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of problems, if we can be honest in Wakanda, because, you know, there's no law enforcement, there's no beautiful military, there's just a lot of Chicago's running around fighting other Chicago's. It's really looks like a rough place, except they have all this technology, which, you know, clearly a fictional movie because there was not one Asian, not one Ching Chong walking around Wakanda telling them how to use their devices. Okay, so believe me, big fake news going on in this movie. So T'Challa, okay, his big nemesis is Michael Jordan. And I'm watching this movie going, I'm friends with Michael Jordan, okay? Very good friends, okay? Golfs at my properties all the time. This isn't Michael Jordan. This sort of, you know, imposter with like the big steroid muscles and the very bad skin, by the way, on this fake Michael Jordan. That's why they call him the B Michael Jordan, because the A Michael Jordan is, you know, my good friend, the golfer, the basketball player, really good guy. Read The Art of the Deal, by the way, great book. This guy, B, that's why they call him, then I realized they call him B, Michael Jordan, because he's like the second choice. If you can't get Donald Trump's Michael Jordan, you get the B, Michael Jordan. So he plays the villain, and they do a lot of fighting, which, to be honest, didn't surprise me. Okay, Chicago on Chicago violence. Okay, even in Wakanda, where Barack Obama, that's why it's, I gotta say it, because it's, maybe I'm just gonna call him Wakanda Obama from now on, to be honest. It's kind of catchy. Well, they're doing a lot of fighting, a lot of wrestling, which, to be honest, I did enjoy. The movie wasn't all bad because there was, like, some Mendingo fights, and I was trying to, you know, bet on them, but they wouldn't let me in the theater. Kind of unfair, if you ask me. But I'm watching this movie, and there's a lot of special effects. It's, you know, it's, it's an impressive movie, considering that it was basically all African Americans doing it, and believe me, very proud that they could be working so hard under my administration. But, you know, they did the best they could for not having any whites or Asians, you know, working on the film, really. So good for them, I guess. We can, but a lot of problems, okay? Other, a lot of women in the film, which is great. You know how much I love Amorosa, so it was good to see some of her people running around. They got Violin Davis, I think, is this woman. She's in the movie, Violin Davis. I don't know, they're telling me it's not, but she looks like Violin Davis, okay? This big, famous... African-American actress. Uh, and they talk about L Lupe Nyong'o. I think I got a Lupe Fiasco. Okay, Lupe Fiasco is this woman that they say is very beautiful. She, I think, won an Oscar, was nominated for an Oscar. I mean, she looks okay, but she's got no breasts. And I'm, I'm very, very consistent. No breasts, you can't be hot, okay? It's a simple rule, okay? Even if they're purchased like Stormy Daniels, you got to have them if I'm going to call you beautiful. But she does okay. But basically, this movie is a lot of effects, a lot of African Americans trying their hardest. But in the end, it's just not realistic, okay? And it's not that good because there were no real Americans in the movie and there were no good people like Norwegians 
it was really a lot of people from, you know, to be honest, shitholes with some technology that I don't believe because, like I said, if you don't have a ching chong, how's Wakanda going to do this? So, from the president, okay, I saw Black Panther. Okay, I give them an A for effort, but I give it a D plus, okay? Not a great movie. Maybe better luck next time. Include more Norwegians and bigger breasts, okay? But I liked Violin Davis. And maybe get the real Michael Jordan next time, okay? Believe me, I can talk to him. Maybe you give me an executive producer credit and we make White Panther starring the real Michael Jordan, okay? Believe me, gonna be a huge, really huge hit.